This video is going to cover the type of fatigue that doesn't seem to improve when you get rest. No matter how much sleep you get, you're still tired. The medical term for this is myalgic encephalomyelitis. Not that you would ever want to know that in a million years, but we can just focus on this chronic fatigue syndrome, right? And there's other symptoms associated with it. Uh, you have certain delayed flare-ups, like let's say you exerted yourself or had some emotional stress, and then an hour later, you had a flare-up. Uh, maybe you had some pain or inflammation. Um, that's one symptom. Usually the person has sleep problems. Uh, they're moody, irritable. They have cognitive issues, brain fog, they can't focus, uh, lack of attention, sore throat. The lymph nodes are swollen, which is a huge clue that there's an immune problem related to this, or they have, might have muscle pain. Now, this could be Lyme's disease, which by the way, and it's amazing nowadays how many people are getting ticks. I mean, about a month ago, I mean, I just get up and I have this little uh, itch and I look down, there's a tick on me. Where did that thing come from? So these darn ticks can actually really create a serious problem with your health down the road. If you're suspecting Lyme's disease, I put a link down below and I actually explain what to do. But this could be one cause of these symptoms right here. Um, Pre-diabetic can also cause some of these symptoms. Low vitamin D can also cause some of the symptoms. But usually, the most common cause is an Epstein-Barr virus that's being reactivated. So many people had Epstein-Barr virus when they were in high school or college, and then it went away, right? But when it goes away, it goes into remission. But guess what? It can come back out under times of stress. Now, the problem with stress is that stress shrinks the thymus gland, which is like the training center of your white blood cells, the T cells. It also paralyzes your immune system. It makes you very susceptible to having a virus be reactivated. So a really important question to ask yourself is, when did you start having this symptom? And what happened just before it? Was it related to some stress event? I found this is very, very common. Or was it related to being in the woods or whatever and getting having a tick? Or let's say, for example, it's been for a very long time and you eat a lot of carbs. Or let's say it's the middle of winter, it's January, and you have not taken any vitamin D and you don't consume foods high in vitamin D, just to get clues. But let's assume it's this right here. This is the remedy. Astragalus. Take six grams of the dried root. It's a very effective remedy. Two cups of water and simmer that low heats for 30 minutes. Let it cool off. It'll be this very thick tea and consume that. Do this once a day. This not only is a very potent antiviral remedy, but it's also good for reducing stress. Also vitamin D, 30,000 I use per day. And zinc, at least 100 milligrams a day. That's what I would recommend to put this little virus back in remission so your energy can come back. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.